by the time I'm producing this uh, project, it's the end of the year 2021. I shot this documentary because of the mindset, because I really want to document a lot of things about social transparency in Berlin and also to document life in Germany a little bit. But nevertheless, due to whole COVID and the whole global pandemic, I wasn't able to achieve all my goal in terms of the documentaries I want to make about the social transparency, but I do really get some cool people to talk to, even though I wasn't able to finish the documentary, but I think you're gonna enjoy this one, and also this will give you a glimpse of what Berlin stands for, because I felt like it's a different place in Germany, because Germany is a so a big topic it's not something someone can document in one video when it comes to uh, social transparency but i hope you're gonna love this enjoy <laughs> My name is Sylvester. Hi, my name is Michael. Hi, my name is Floyd. Hey, I'm Tofik. I'm Ashutosh. Hi, my name is Marie. My name is Hello, so my name is Shaggy. Hi, my name is Julia. My name is Victor. I'm Molly. My name is Alia. Hi, my name is Victor. Uh, Carmela. Hi, my name is Alice. My favorite place in Berlin is the Teufelsee, which is a lake in the west of Germany and I live very close to it. It's like, it's in the middle of the Grunewald and uh, it's very nice. It's an FKK lake for anyone who doesn't know what FKK is. It's people being naked, which might be weird for some people, <laughs> but it's a German thing and you also don't have to be naked if you're there. Um, but it's a very nice place and the people there are usually very chill. How many dialects Germany has? How many what? Dialect. I don't know. A lot. So, can you name few? Mm, Plattdeutsch, Plattdeutsch, uh, Schweizerisch, genau. um, Bayerisch, that's it. And close to where I live there's a park called Humboldtheim which is really a beautiful park. You can visit um, an old bunker from the world, Second World War and that's really interesting and it's just a great park to hang around in with benches and uh, people yeah, just hanging out uh, with their blankets and enjoying the, enjoying the sun and stuff. I'm from India, I'm living in Berlin from last six years. Uh, Berlin is a very nice city, I love it here, mostly in the summers and in the summer you can do a lot of activities, you can go to lakes, different lakes. My most favorite lakes here in Berlin is uh, Plotzensee and you can go a little far away from, this, uh, from the Berlin and there is a lake, very beautiful lake, blue lake, it's called Lipnitzsee. Uh, you can take it a regional train and you can reach there. You're definitely gonna enjoy this lake there. The places I like to go party uh, in Berlin, uh, my favorite spot is a party called Heidelugen. I think it's, if I'm pronouncing correct, that is in um, west of Berlin. It's, uh, it happens on a Saturday, but usually on a Sunday. And uh, it's fun, man. It's uh, good people. It's outside. It's inside. It's a little bit, you know, um, it's a hidden away. And uh, yeah, you must check that party out. I come to Sina Gambia. It's amazing. Sina Gambia, if you're looking for some African food in Berlin, uh, it's proper. And uh, yeah, man, I think you must check that out. It's in, uh, in Kreuzberg. The Volkspark Friedrichshain. You go there, there are two wonderful big hills to visit and have fun on. And if you find yourself ever there on a sunset time, just go up the highest hill there too. One is small, one is big. 
and just enjoy yourself in the sunset and the view over the whole city. My name is Adjamu and I moved to Berlin a few months ago in February and um, I have a couple of favorite places where it is it's really nice to go and just experience these parts of Berlin. Uh, one of them is the Tempelhofer Feld. It's an old uh, airfield that is uh, for the public to chill, skate and do all kinds of things. And it's just this, this humongous open space, which is very surprising in a big city like this. So you can get like a little break of uh, the whole buildings and not seeing the sky. And then there's a place called Klunkerkranich, and it's a rooftop bar where you can have a nice view of the city, which is really well, really nice as well. I live in Berlin for like four years now, and my favorite place to party is Heren Sauna, without a doubt. And it's a really, really, really crazy. It's a party that's not even a club. It's called a Trezor, and it's gonna be a blast when it reopens. And I recommend it to everybody who who is in Berlin hasn't been to a club and hasn't experienced really club culture that much. Heren Sauna is gonna be the most extreme, like nice club culture that you can get in Berlin. It's like even better than Berkheim in some aspects because it's easier to get in. You don't have to wait and it's not that much hype about it. So yeah, definitely here in Sauna. Other clubs as well like Om, it's pretty nice. Um, I guess my two places in Berlin uh, would be once Kölner Park in Neukölln because it's pretty surprising to walk in Neukölln and then see something as gorgeous as that park. Uh, you have a lot of statues, a lot of water, a lot of people chilling, it's very specific. And the second thing is more outside of Berlin, I guess, but still in the nature. And it's um, um, it's near a small village or city, Bickenwerda, it's called. There's a lot of nature, there's a lot of uh, dams that are made by beavers. And yeah, a lot of greenery, it's amazing. You have like forests, almost like a fairy tale. I'm a student and I live in Berlin. If I'm down for some house, but I also am down for some techno, I go to Sisyphus because you have different stages and there's everything you need. And if I'm down for grabbing a beer and then dancing, I go to the Wilde Renate. You know, I like to share food, I think it's fun. So my favorite place is called Yafo. It's Israeli food and it's in, in Mitte. They have the best hummus and the best uh, what is it called? Lafne. Really love it. And yeah, that's my, my go to place. It's Mauer Park. Because uh, every weekend there is a lot of events and uh, people are playing basketball. And also there is a special area, skate area and basketball area. And there is also a lot of multicultural people. That's why it's my favorite place in Berlin. And I would recommend it to everybody who is coming in Berlin. My name is Cecilia. Okay, how many Dialy Germany speak? I think that there are around 20 and maybe there are like even more but they are more fine-tuned. Okay, and how many of these dialects do you uh, recognize? So, I recognize many, speak not that many. Okay. I think it could, you know, if someone is an expert, mm -hmm. they would say I'm not doing it the right way. Okay. But I can try to give you some. Okay, can you mention some of these dialects? So Berlin, for example, is that is Berlin and und ich möchte hier jetzt ganz gerne mal ein Interview machen. Okay, another dialect. Das ist aus dem Süden, da reden wir so, das ist ganz arg so da wo Frankreich und die Schweiz dazu kommen. Okay. So, but can you mention those dialect like just not speaking them, just mention. Can, ah, okay. can you mention how many can you mention? Yeah. I don't know. So, it's Berlinerisch, it's uh, Alemannisch, Badisch, Schwäbisch, Bayerisch, um, Rheinländisch, Pfälzisch, Sächsisch, um, Platt. Um, ha, three more. Kölsch. Um, Two more? Yeah, I will get there. Um, <laughs> Wie heißt denn das da nochmal? Mm -mm. Yeah, um, I'm originally from the Netherlands, but I live here since one and a half year. My favorite club here to go in Berlin is definitely Renate, Zum Wilde Renate. But you have to be quick because it's coming a highway, so you have to go quick 
to party there. And I live in Berlin, but I come from Bulgaria. And my favorite place to go in Berlin would probably either be the studio to record some bass, or it would be to go for a swim in one of the beautiful lakes like Teuf, uh, fucking what's it called? Tegelze. Tegelze, yeah. Oh wow, so I used to go to KitKat on Friday and on Sunday I was going with my friends to Bergen in the morning <laughs> until the evening or like night. So that's what I used to do, going to Bergen and KitKat, that were my class where I used to hang out. Or some private parties here and there with friends. So uh, what I like to do in Berlin on a hot day like this, I like to go to Weissensee or if I want to grab a beer, I go to Café am Neunsee. I'm from Finland and I live in Berlin. Um, I don't really have a specific place here that I visit consistently, but I think that's the beauty of Berlin in general. You don't really have to have a specific place because wherever you go, you're gonna find somewhere cool to go. Um, and yeah, you'd never get bored here. Like you can't get bored, but it's easy to take yourself out of that mindset. And once you go out, you're, it's just, you're not gonna be bored. If you do get bored outside, then you're boring. <laughs> Thank you. This documentary was just to demonstrate how life in general and how living in Berlin, how people feel about it and how people also still see it. Because um, Berlin population is over 65% foreigners. So, and this is the reason why I love talking to people just to grab their perspective. Actually, it's little bit disappointing for me because I wasn't able to make the documentary the way I want to but um, I think 2022 we are going to do some amazing work and we will put a lot of documentary out there that just really speaks about uh, transparency in general not only the techno not only the culture not only the language but just like the things that make Berlin Berlin so See you 2022.